are you guys planning to buy a new laptop specially for video editing and photo editing then i think you should definitely look at the new macbook air base model the cheapest model from apple with the new m1 chip Before we even start with the video, let me tell you, I am not a technical geek. मुझे इन चीज़ों का इतना आइडिया नहीं है मुझे सिर्फ दो पर्पस के लिए लैपटॉप चाहिए था द फर्स्ट थिंग वॉज फोर के वीडियो एडिटिंग वेर आई कैन एडिट एग्जैक्टली नॉट मोर बट फोर के सिक्सटी एफ पी एस में एडिट कर सकूँ तो मुझे उसको एडिट करने के लिए एक लैपटॉप चाहिए था जो कि ऑन द गो भी एडिट कर सके स्पेशली वन आई एम ट्रैवलिंग mostly when i'm traveling so i was looking a lot in the market mujhe pehle tha ki should i invest in a in a really good windows pc should i invest in the most expensive new macbook pro but itna budget nahi tha especially most of my edits i do on my windows pc over here as you can see this is my desktop pc mai mostly desktop edit karta hu laptop pe aaj tak maine itna edit nahi kiya because इतने महंगे लैपटॉप्स लेने की मेरी कभी इतनी क्षमता नहीं थी सो नाउ व्हेन आई रिसेंटली गॉट टू नो दैट द न्यू मैकबुक एयर स्पेशली विद द एम वन शेप इज फॉर सम नाइन्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज आई क्विकली परचेज इट अप एंड फर्स्ट आई वाज रियली स्केप्टिक कि पता नहीं ये 4K फुटेज कैसे हैंडल करेगा एंड वीडियो एडिटिंग स्पेशली मैकबुक एयर कैसे हैंडल करेगा बट सिंस आई बिन यूजिंग फ्रॉम पास्ट टेन डेज जस्ट मी I am not looking back at my desktop PC, which has 32 GB of RAM, 2 terabyte SSD, a 2060 graphic card. It has Ryzen 7, and this thing has an 8 GB memory, integrated graphic, and the brand new M1 chip. And it flows through my workflow easily, easily. So, now we are. पहला चीज़ जो करेंगे वी गो यूज़ लाइट रूम टू एडिट फ्यू जो इमेजेस वी गो यूज लाइट रूम टू ऑल्सो बैच एडिट अराउंड टू हंड्रेड इमेज एंड एक्सपोर्टेड वी ऑल्सो गो नो एडिट अराउंड थर्टी सेकेंड फोर के सिक्सटी एफ पी एस फोर टू टू टाइम लाइन ऑन फाइनल कट प्रो एंड विल ट्राई टू डू सम कॉम्प्लेक्स स्काई रिप्लेसमेंट इमिंग ऑन टू स्काई लार लुमिनार ए आई ओके तो लेट्स गो एन टू इट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट डूइंग एनी थिंग आई एम गो प्लग ऑफ द चार्जर सो Just to make sure we are at hundred percent battery. Yes. So first, I'm gonna select one image over here, and uh, let's reset the image first. We start from very basic. So this is my usual editing process. Saturation a bit, noise reduction, and I think it's almost done. So let's export one image first, and exporting. Well, it just happened in a few seconds. Now the main test will be that I copy the settings from this one image, paste it across two forty-four images. Okay, and that's how we started pasting. Let's see how much time does it take for to do this task. It almost took us fifty-four seconds to do this entire task, which is pretty amazing. Now, what I want to see is if I export all these images, how much time does it take? Let's start the timer. so the work is done i think we have exported around let's see so we have exported around 185 images in 17 minutes and the laptop is a bit warm because obviously it has worked hard and the battery has gone down to 94% we were 100% when we started 
said 94% now. So now, agla wala jo hum test karenge, that's gonna be on Final Cut Pro, the the latest version, and uh, we will edit around 30-35 second of a 4K clip and also export it at 4K resolution and see how it works. So it's gonna be a quick work. And jo this is I have already opened up a project file. If you see, it's a 4K timeline over here. And the footage over here is a 4K 60 FPS footage. So let's see. So, yeah, it's almost a 31 second clip. Uh, what I'll do is I'll add some adjustment layers and make it a good looking image. We're also gonna work with the curves. We would add some titles on top of it. Put some nice titles. Let's let's add some motion blur also. So there are three layers on top, two layers on top of it, and I'm gonna add let's say one more layer. So let's render it now and let's put in the timer. Let's see how much time does it take to render. So here we have 1-2-3 layers. So we have color correction, we have a LUT, we have a glitch title and we also have certain amount of motion blur into this footage. So it took us almost a minute and a half to render this 4K clip. Now we'll export it and see how much time does it take. Let's refresh it. One. So yeah, we are exporting this at 4K 23 FPS timeline. And let's see how it works out. Trust me, the way the slider is going, that's pretty fast. It doesn't happen normally uh, onto my previous generation MacBook Pro and doesn't even work on this desktop so fast. And it took us almost two minutes to get the video, final video done. And I think it's quite fast and the last test I want to show and then I'm just gonna go away from here. An app called Lumina AI. And what this app does is uh, it's it's kind of an AI based um, hardcore editing kind of a thing but you don't edit it, you don't edit it, you do PC it So sky replacement or facial editing sort of thing, it does pretty quickly You can edit a raw image, okay guys? So here it is Now look what's gonna happen Just look <laughs> You see that? It changed the entire sky so this app is what I want to see once how it does that's about it and now we're gonna export this file and I'm gonna see how much time does it take to export this file normally this app compared to Lightroom and anything it eats a lot of it's done it eats a lot of CPU a lot of battery a lot of RAM but the M1 uh, entire does it pretty nice so I think that was all about today's video. I just wanted to bring forward what this small 13 inch laptop can actually do. And when I was I was really skeptic that should I be investing a good amount of money on a laptop or not. But since I've been using it for the past 10 days, uh, it's, it, it's pretty amazing for me. Especially all the photographers and videographers out there. If you have a laptop which edits 4K, and up also you want to be kind of future proof so you can definitely buy the base model uh, if you have certain more money to spend then I will definitely suggest that you get the 16 GB RAM and the 500 GB hard disk one because obviously the extra RAM will give you a bit boost uh, especially doing 6k edits or uh, bigger sort of edits but I am uh, happy with the base model and in time I am almost 3 hours we have been working on this laptop since morning and the battery is at 88%.
so that's the best part it can this laptop can easily run an entire day for me even if i'm editing hardcore on this 4k editing it the battery will last me at least 4 hours abhi tak maximum 4 and a half hours tak mujhe last kiya hai full editing mein so i think this is a very good choice for 90000 in 1000 rupees and i hope you guys like the video as i said this is not a technical video and my technical banda nahi hu main to bahar ghumne phirne wala banda hu but i thought i'll make this video and aapko pasand aaya hai then drop a like and i'll see you in next video maybe i'll do some tutorials video next time for you guys okay adios